Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura for those of you that do not know and today's video is a super exciting one because it's going to be my Booktubeathon TBR which I'm just so happy about. I'm so happy that it's finally Booktubeathon. You guys may or may not know that I literally wait for Booktubeathon every single year because that's how much I love it and enjoy participating in it. So I'm super excited for this year's Booktubeathon that is taking place from July 30th to August 5th. We basically did dedicate a whole week to doing reading challenges and video challenges and just kind of all coming together as a bookish community and celebrating reading and it's super super fun. Um, there's different reading challenges that can go with the week so if you want to follow those you can. If you don't want to you don't have to. Um, I'll of course have more information about the book Tubathon down below. I have quite the exciting stack of books here to share with you guys that I'm going to be reading during the week but I also just want to tell you guys that yes I will be doing the video challenges every single day. At least I'm going to try to you, so we'll see how it goes. I'm really excited about it. But for now, let's get into the reading challenges and the books that I chose for them. The first Booktubeathon reading challenge is to let a coin toss decide your first read of the Booktubeathon. So I chose two books that I'm going to be reading both during the Booktubeathon, but these are the ones that I'm choosing the coin toss between, and that is Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli and Nothing More by Anna Todd. So I have a quarter right here. Uh, let's say that Simon is heads and Nothing More is tails. We got heads. So we're gonna be reading Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli first. This one I'm so so excited to read. This is also going to be knocking off the challenge of reading a book and then watching the film adaptation. So that's originally why I chose the book but I will be happy to read this first that way I'll get it over with and I can watch the movie. Um, I've seen the movie a few times at this point but I love it so so much and everyone keeps telling me that I still need to read the book. So I decided this would be a good pick. It's pretty small so I feel like it's a good choice for the book two with on and I'm really excited to read it. So that's going to be my first read. The next challenge is to read a book about something that you want to do. For that, I chose this little little baby book, and that is We Were Young by Fortessa Latifi. Latifi? I don't know how you say her last name. But this is actually a poetry book. It's a collection of different poems and stuff like that. And I'm choosing this book for this challenge because I would love to learn to write better poetry. I'm actually taking a creative writing poetry class next semester at school, but I don't know. I just often feel like my words don't have enough purpose or aren't artistic enough to be put into poetry. I just, I don't know. Um, so I love reading poetry. So I'm really excited about this one. I hope it teaches me something about maybe writing some poetry. Um, Fortessa is somebody that I've been following online for a really long time. This is her second collection of poetry. Um, I bought it off Amazon and I haven't even looked at it yet. So I'm super excited to read this for book two thon So that's going to be for challenge two. Challenge three is to read a book and watch the adaptation, which I already went over. So challenge four is to read a book with a green cover. And so for that, I'm going to go with Almost Impossible by Nicole Williams. This is a newer release by Nicole Williams. I've actually read a few of her books from one of her new adult series. I believe this one is a young adult book. And while I've only read her new adult, I've really enjoyed reading her as an author. And this is a nice little skinny book. And the cover you can see is completely green. It's a really pretty cover, actually. This one just seems like such a cute fun summary contemporary so I'm super excited about it let me know if you've heard of it okay so really quickly there's three more challenges which are read a book while wearing a hat the whole time the same hat reading that book which is just like sort of funny and you could really just choose any book for that um, the other challenge is to read a book with a beautiful spine and then the last challenge is to read seven books overall so I have three more books in my TBR pile so that makes six total I'm leaving one space empty to find another book during the week just so I have kind of that flexibility to choose another random book while still sticking to my current TBR so I think that's gonna have to be the one with a beautiful spine because I don't think any of these really have like that amazing of a spine so I'm gonna have to look for one with a cute spine but I do have three other books that I plan on reading which can either be for the challenge of reading seven books or for the one with the hat or whatever it needs to be so I'll share them with you right now first of all I have these two books you guys just saw this one before this is nothing more and this is nothing less by Anna Todd this is the spin-off series from after it's the Landon series following the character of Landon obviously um, and I still haven't read these and they're super skinny um, I just did a full reread of after and so these happen during like the last book of after 
Um, so I feel like I'm in the right mindset to read them finally because I didn't really want to pick them up after not having read after for so many years. So I plan on reading both of these during Booktubeathon. I think they're going to be super fast reads and I'm actually really excited about them. So yes, I'm going to read both of those. And then the sixth book I have on my list is It Gets Worse by Shane Dawson, which is a collection of essays. I've had this book literally since it came out, but I just haven't gotten around to reading it for some reason. It's all just short stories written by Shane, and you guys probably know Shane has been my favorite YouTuber since the beginning of YouTube, basically since like 2008. So I'm just a huge fan of his, and I've read his first book. I met him at his book signing for that first book, and I still haven't read the second one. Like, what's my excuse? I don't know. But I'm really excited about this one. I love books like this for Booktubeathon where you can kind of read a chapter or read one of the short essays I should say and then kind of bounce around between different books. So that's what I'm doing. That's my sixth book on my TBR. So like I said, I still need to find a book with a beautiful spine and you guys will obviously see what book that is when I do my wrap up at the end of the Booktubeathon. Let me know actually, would you guys prefer if I did a reading vlog where I show you what I'm reading throughout the whole week and then post it at the end of the week kind of as my wrap up or would you just prefer like an old school booktubeathon wrap up like I've been doing for the past four years so let me know I can do both if that's something you guys want or if you just want the vlog or if you just want the wrap up just let me know in a comment please so these books plus one other one are gonna be my books for the booktubeathon I'm super excited I'd love to hear all about your booktubeathon TBR if you are participating down below if you did do a video like this one and you want me to watch it leave it in a comment below I'd love to watch your booktube on TBR and let me know if you're participating if you plan on reading or if you plan on doing the video challenges I think especially right now is a great time to start your own booktube channel if you've always wanted to because your videos will get more attention than they would if you just posted them at any other time in the year because you can take your video and post it in the comment section of the challenge on the booktube -thon. YouTube if that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense. Um, so more people will see it is what I'm trying to say. So if you want to start a channel this week and do the booktube -thon, I'd love to support you. I'd love to watch your videos. So let me know down below what you guys are doing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Also hit the notification bell if you haven't already and you want to get notified whenever I post a new video. Um, you can also follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, link down below. They're both just at Lovely Like Laura. I'm always on there talking to you guys, responding to DMs and tweets and stuff like that. So message me on there if you want. <laughs> but anyways, I will see you guys in a new video very, very shortly. And good luck with the booktube-a-thon. Bye!